Hello from Idaho. I strive to provide interesting videos about motorcycles, fabrication, welding, electronics, machining, and general creativity. I hope you enjoy. Hello from Idaho. If you're like me, you use spray paint on most of your projects. I typically coat every part with three coats of paint, which means three times of shaking it up by hand for at least a minute. And I think there's got to be a better way. And I think you can do it really inexpensively. So I have a, a can from uh, Chili with Beans, and I say with beans for my Texas friends. And I have three more, or three chili lids that came off of this can plus two others. I've got a 3 8 inch bolt with at least an inch and a half that is not threaded. And some body washers in uh, 3 8 So, let's see what we can make. So first we need to find the center of this can. We do that with the uh, center finder. If you're like me, your center finder doesn't really find the center. It uh, is close, but you really have to mark it about six times and then use the center of those marks. I've got four different center finders and they all do that. And then we set a punch. And put all the lids inside. Turn it upside down. And drill a pilot hole. I'm thinking I can drill them all at once. Okay, so far so good. So let's go to quarter inch next. Okay, that was better. Now we'll see if we can cut a 3 8 inch hole. Okay, we did a little, a little spinning of the discs in there, but that'll work. Do a little deburring. Okay, we got our discs drilled and our can drilled. Gonna make, gotta get them all headed the same way so the ridges will all stack together. Okay, now we need a couple of nuts screwed on here. One all the way down. Tighten it up. And then the other one. Then we're going to cut that bolt off. Then we open the garage door. Cause that's got zinc on it. And I held my breath when I drilled it. Chill. Then 
Then we dunk it in some water. And then we cut off the head. Okay, don't forget to hold your breath. And more dunking in the water. And uh, I'm gonna round off that head a little bit. Well, you probably figured out by now. This part goes in the inside the can. For some reason, those things have a big burr on them. Should have used my step drill. Okay, there we go. Okay, these go inside the can. Then we put a body washer on. Another water washer. And then a nut. Which is the hardest part of this whole deal. Nine sixteenths. guys have probably used this trick before. Stuff a little paper towel down inside your socket. Then you can put the nut in it and it'll stay up near the top where you can engage a short bolt. All right. Get our washer in there lined up. I'm not going to fool you, this isn't easy, but the uh, part that goes up inside the can is going to be pretty short. So that it uh, doesn't touch the bottom of the spray can. Now there's a divot there, which leaves room for the nut, but not much else. Okay. 
Okay. We have touchdown. And we crash. Now we just tighten this up. And so what we have is a shaft, a nut, a fender washer, the bottom of the can, and then three can lids and another fender washer, and a nut. And that gives us a shaft that will drive the can around and around. And right now it looks a little crooked, which is not necessarily a good thing. Okay, that's better. Let's see how this does. So it actually spins pretty good. So, what you've been waiting for is you can actually shake your spray paint by spinning it. And the reason this works is because the ball in there has some momentum. And so you can spin the ball, spin the can, and the ball is going slower than the can, which causes mixing. Sounds pretty good. Now the next step is to put something down inside the can that uh, holds the holds the spray paint. We could just put in a paper towel or a rag, which is going to work really good. And you don't have to spin it fast. In fact, I think you can hear the marble. been spinning it in reverse and it loosens. You can hear the marble continuing to spin after you finish. And so this actually works really well. It actually works better than shaking by hand. I've had some old cans of paint that were 10 years old right, that had all of the pigment and whatnot down in the bottom and I shook them for quite a while and I got no results. They didn't, uh, they didn't spray well. But, but with this method, it, sh it actually mixes better than you can do by hand by doing this. Now if you put it on a paint shaker or something that did this really vigorously, you could probably get as good a mix as this, but I mean, we're talking a dollar worth of bolt and nut and washers here, maybe maybe two dollars given all the inflation we've been having. Um, and it only takes 10 or 20 seconds to, to uh, super mix a can of paint the fact that it's out of balance may actually help, I don't know. But, uh, that's how it works. I hope this has helped somebody. I probably shake a can of paint maybe 10, 15 times during a project because I never get to paint it all at once. And so I put three coats on two parts and I put three coats on another part and I put three coats on a third part. Well, that's already nine shakings. And so this is going to save me a lot of time, plus I get a better mix. So as usual, I hope this helps somebody else. Goodbye from Idaho. Thanks for watching. As usual, if you like or dislike my video, please select the appropriate button and let me know why. I really appreciate comments and I will answer every one.
If you're new to my videos, please select the subscribe and the notification bell to get more videos like this.